Are you looking for fast and reliable gaming services? Head on over to AHMLB and make sure you use code FAT for 5% off your order. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another MLB The Show 21 video and as always, if you a real one, drop a like on the video. If you are new to the channel, hit that red subscribe button and turn your notifications on so you can always be alerted when your boy drop another b -b 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 banger. Today, we're gonna give a shout out to the MVPs, we're gonna give a shout out to Big Time K22, and then we're gonna get into the tips and tricks of this video. So, the MVPs is anybody who comment in the comment section that they watch the full video. So we got Ethan Shirk, we got Dustin Rhodes, and we got Jason JL85. Now also, Big Time K22, his channel will be in the description. Lots of knowledge if you need anything on how to beat Conquest, on how to rank up your players, Parallel, all that good stuff. He has information for you. Go follow his channel, drop a like on his channel, and subscribe to his channel. The boy is up and coming in the community. So what you want to do when you are pitching? This white box is your best friend. You want to use this white box. You don't want to have no pitches here. You want to use this white box, whether you outside the white box or whether you right on the corner of the white box. That is what you want to use every single time. You don't want to give him no potato sack in the middle of the zone. All right, so what I like to do is I like to always see how he handles an off speed pitch and I like to throw him off so I will come with a change up right here to the inside he doesn't swing okay so my opponent has patience he's not just swinging at anything so the off speed pitch 87 miles per hour give him something to think about so I will come with a high sinker to the outside right here because this is gonna be a hard pitch to hit so he steals a base but he swings and completely misses. So a high pitch is the fastest pitches that your guy has in his repertoire. So four seam, two seam, sinker, cutter. If you throw them up high, they're gonna be at their max speed. So 91, 92 miles per hour fastball up high in the zone is gonna seem like 95, 96 miles per hour. Y'all get the drift. So we just did a high sinker, he missed it. So we're gonna come back with a change up. He swung, he had good swing timing, but his PCI was off. So we're gonna try to knock his timing off. We don't never want him to have good swing timing. And you always want to watch that PCI on the left. So his changeup, very early on the changeup, okay? And his PCI is still not on. So we're going to come back to the same area with a curveball, and we're going to see if he can make the PCI touch. So he completely missed on that and he got out. So he was late on the off speed pitch, meaning he's behind it. And then his PCI is nowhere near the ball. Those are key factors that should be making bells ring in your head. Okay, so he was late on the off speed. You're going to come back with the fastest pitch in your repertoire. Whether it's a strike or not, you want it high in the zone right there. 93 miles per hour. To him, his eyes seen 95 miles per hour. So we're going to come back with a change up now. Something off speed. He swings, he does hit a foul, but he's very early on the changeup. Once you get that information like that, he's very early, that means that a fastball, he might has a good chance of picking that up. So we're going to come with a high sinker again because he's early on the pitches and it's a good chance he's going to pop him up. So he looks at that ball, go right past him for a strike. So fastball, sinker, he's thinking something fast is coming. So we should have his timing off. There's an off-speed pitch out of the zone, but it's okay. So off-speed pitch out of the zone. Now we can come back with the sinker. We gave him something different to think about. He's thinking about that's a changeup. They can see down on the screen. So we're going to come back with the sinker and see if he's ready for it. And once again, we get him looking. Now, if he would have swung, his PCI would have to be perfect for a sinker or he's going to pop it up. So now we're going to start mixing in other pitches. The sinker has been effective. The changeup has been effective. So now we're going to start hitting him with high curve balls out the zone so it can drop at the top. See if his uh, swing is right. So he's seen the 80 miles per hour curveball at the top, okay? So now he didn't swing, he was patient. We're gonna come with a fastball at the top. It's gonna be the fastest pitch that you have. Boom, right there. He takes that pitch, 94 miles per hour fastball. So guess what? We're gonna come back with our sinker because he's been having trouble with it. And if he swings, he's gonna pop it up or miss it. So right there, he's just early on a 93 miles per hour sinker. So now we're gonna try to do a sinker to the outside. Hopefully he chase a ball out of the zone sinker to the outside he does a good hit on that that was a good contact hit so now we're gonna do a fastball he's very late on my off speed and you're just using this same technique he swings and he misses and we just throwing laser beams just dying him up you feel me so he takes that strike right there come back with a curveball we're gonna do a high curveball and a hit on his bat in the wrong spot so they go to curveball is he gonna swing no we did paint the corner and the ump gave it to us so he's looking for that we're gonna go to the opposite side with a fastball 
Boom. There it go. Fast as it could be. He looks at it again. He's pissed off, swinging his bed around, talking crazy, and we just dot in him up. You feel me? So here we go with a change up right here to the middle. And y'all see, all I'm doing is dotting him up. I'm just giving him different looks every time. Once he get used to that, we go back to our sinker. We've been away from it for a while. High sinker, and he lays off of it. We'll come back with a curveball, see if he start chasing pitches. Boom, there he is, just swinging at nothing. He just out there swinging at the air. He's very early on that. Let's blow past him with the fastball. Let's blow past him. Nothing but win. If y'all enjoyed it, drop a like on the video. Let me know in the comment section what other tips that y'all need. Like I said, this white box is your best friend. Put all your pitches on the white line or outside the white line. Change ups, they are best when you have them a little high because they have a drop off. And you can see the yellow arrow tells you everything that you need to know about a pitch. Now all you have to do is figure out what kind of control each pitcher has so you can be successful. I'll see y'all on the next video.